Okay, so let's go over the, 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 the trend chart. So this is a really good buy point in the market. And let's, let me show you how I set these up every day. I don't care what market you look at, this pattern will repeat itself over and over and over again in the markets. The first thing we do is we look at the trend chart. That's the first chart you should look at. I'm not worried about where my Fibonacci arrows are firing or where market delta is or my market profile per se. I use market profile for confluence. The first thing I want to know is the market can only do two things. I know it can either be trending up, down, meaning going vertical, or it's going to go sideways. So I got to establish my bias right away. And once I get the bias established, I use moving averages for my bias. A moving averages, we all know, are worthless by nature, but they're great for trend direction. I like using the MAs, and I like to see when they're all crossed up. If they're all crossed above each other, you're in a hard trend up. More importantly is that if you get uh, the open versus close, meaning the body of the candle space away from the smaller MA, you're in a hard trend. The key to look for an ABC long or a one, two, three pattern long or um, also called a J hook pattern. You'll see a lot of it. That's why I want to mention to you that they're really talking about the J hook recently and it's been, it's been around for 30 plus years. I don't know why they're now just talking about it. But um, it's the same pattern off the trend chart. It's a very powerful pattern that can repeat itself over and over on a daily basis on a lot of different markets. And here's what we want to do. We want to see when the when there's a possible long side setup to come in the market. So let's look at this second setup because this is our last buy signal. I'll go to the previous one to make sure you understand how to do it. The, the, the best way to find a possible retracement trade is this. The trend chart is very, very easy to see. We know we're in an uptrend. All moving averages are crossed up. They've got nice spread. They're moving up. The best way to find a one, two, three pattern, and this is also called, let me put it down, this is also called an ABC. There's A, here's B, here's C, or this would be called a J-hook, not an inverted J-hook, but a J-hook, if you want to look that up, if you want to take a look at that. So that's an, it's either an ABC pattern or a 1, 2, 3 pattern, and this is a powerful pattern off of our trend chart. Not only do we use the trend chart to make sure the open versus close above all, all three moving averages are below, or more importantly, above the small one or below one on the open versus close, it's important to know when you got a possible trade coming up. The best way to see a possible trade is this. When that, if you're in an uptrend and that first red bar, I have a trend filter built into the Rinko bar. When that first red bar prints, first red bar candle prints, when that first red bar candle prints, you know that you got counter trend traders coming in. Now, we know that one, two, three patterns and I know that ABC patterns or J-hook patterns, they're all the same thing. I know that they are continuation patterns. ABCs are continuations. One, two, three patterns are continuations. More importantly, J-hooks are the definition is around 80, 85% are continuations. So I know that once I established that first red reversal bar, I can look at my FIB zone to find out where the buy should be. So as soon as I get that first red bar of prints, I'm in an uptrend, I can take the low right here of this candle. I can take the low and I can put, position it to the high of that candle that printed, printed red. So when that bar closed red, I know my buy zone right now to buy on a retracement has been formed between minimum 50 to 62% retracement. A lot of times it will stop right at the 62% retracement. Sometimes, some days it will stop right to the exact tick. So that creates our buy zone right here. That's our buy zone. So as soon as that bar closes, as soon as that red bar closes, I got my buy zone right now. I know that that's where I need to see a Fibonacci arrow print or at least come within two ticks of my symmetry dots to get me long. That's going to position me into the market and let me try to get involved in a nice long side setup. So when I want to, what I want to do then, as soon as that red bar prints, I like to run my fibs right away to find my buy zone. My buy zone will typically be right around four ticks, four to five tick zone, sometimes a little bit tighter. So once I get my buy zone, I'm going to watch where my symmetry dots are. I'm going to see where within a couple ticks my symmetry dots are. If I see my symmetry dots, which are here on my five sim, remember my retracement trades, I only have one retracement trade I look for on the five sim. 
That's off my symmetry dots over here. But the trend chart has to set it up. I cannot trade off symmetry or I'll get smoked. The, the symmetry dots by themselves are absolutely worthless. You cannot trade the sim dots by themselves or you will not do very well on a week-to-week -week basis. But they're great for lining up after the counter trend traders come in and the trend chart tells you when it's coming in. So I knew at 560102 at this level that I'm looking for a long side setup. So right there were my symmetry dots. Right there. Look how it caught the low right there on my trend chart. Okay. So as soon as I come within two ticks, minimum two ticks of my symmetry, I want to see an arrow fire on my three sim or my five sim to get me long or positive market delta to fire me in the trade. Once I get that, I put my stop loss two ticks below the swing low, I get the market moving to the upside. That is called an ABC pattern or it's called a one, two, three pattern. Okay. Long or short. Now, if you have really long extended trades, you want to have a minimum right around 50% worth in a couple ticks. So what I can do on this pattern right here, this is a long side pattern also. This pattern was a long side setup before that. Now let me take let me have you take a look. If I go one here, there's one. Here's a two. I'll show you two more patterns right here. Here's a two. This three long was right at my buy zone. So that's a one, two, three long at the low. One, two, three. You can't close below 76.4% retracement. That's my rule. If you, anybody trades the news, they know that. So that's a one, two, three pattern. And then if I extend this up, there's my first red bar close. And here's a one, two, three pattern because it came within a couple ticks of 50% retracement. See how that works? So you're three for three on one, two, three patterns for the long side setup. Okay, three for three by looking at just the red bar that prints on the opposite side of trend. The last two are more important because obviously moving averages are both crossed up. So these two are very important trade setups. But look how cool the trend chart is because when you know how to break it down like that, it makes life so much easier to trade because I knew – the buy zone was right here from my Fibonacci analysis after the red bar printed. I knew my buy zone was right here. Look how it caught the low. Buy zone, buy zone, buy zone. They were all, one, that's my one, two, three here. First red bar prints. Look for retracement long. Look for an arrow. Right there it is. Second one. Red bar prints, counter trend traders are coming in. It goes down to 50%. There's my one, two, three pattern long. Third one, red bar prints, that's your two short, I mean two pattern. Oops, where my one go? And that is a one, two, three pattern long. One, two, three. So look how I did that though. Look how I shaped that up. Now that is also called what's called what's called a J hook pattern. Now, this also is a pattern. See how we got below all the moving averages and then we retraced? This right here is a sell. So you would look for a short after the first green bars come in. There's your retracement short. You try to get short on the next retracement. There's a red bar that comes in after trend. Try to get a retracement. These two are textbook. Red bar prints, try to get a retracement. Red bar prints, try to get a retracement. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to see what the zone is. I do not want to go past 76.4% or it creates an opposite trend move. Okay? This last one down here, let me show you. Take the low, red bar prints. I'm going to do my Fibonacci analysis. If it would have closed below 76.4, it came within a uh, exceeded by a couple ticks. That told me right there that if it closed below it, I would not look for a trend continuation. This one up here, very simple. Take the low to the swing high, right at 50%. Right here, the next one is a little more tighter. Red bar prints, there's your fib analysis. There's your buy zone. There's within a couple ticks of symmetry. So you had three in a row, and they were perfect symmetri symmetrical trades to the upside based upon the trend chart. So in other words, if I'm looking at analysis, and Gerald will shut this off in a minute, then I know 
that the go light on all these trades were one thing. And this kind of rangy market had sell off, had a run up. I know if I'm trading this market right now, as soon as this bar printed, I got a sell setup. As soon as this bar printed from the swing lows, I got a buy setup. As soon as this bar printed, I got a buy setup. As soon as this red bar printed, I got a buy setup coming. So you can really get a big heads up on these trades when you know what you're doing. And um, like I said, that's an ABC pattern, one, two, three pattern. A lot of a lot of interest in this J hook pattern. It's been out forever. I don't know why the I think because the accuracy of it is so uncanny, the trend chart will allow you to catch, catch. This is an inverted J hook here. That's an inverted J hook. And this is a regular J hook. So when you hear that now, a lot of people have been talking about it lately in the news, at least from my traders that I hang out with, a lot of, lot of publications about this recently. All it is is a 1, 2, 3 pattern or an ABC. It's an inverted J hook or a ABC or 1, 2, 3 pattern. The best way to find them, they're all the same pattern. They're continuation patterns. Wait for the opposite color bar to come in. Okay. Opposite come in, you're good to go. If they come within two ticks of symmetry dots, Steve, as soon as that red bar prints, if it comes within two ticks of symmetry dots, you can get long with an arrow, fib arrow, or a market delta long. The J-hook pattern, yes, break retest on all these trades, break retest profile will give you confluence. Break retest can profile, what, what do I mean by that, Brian? Right here you go. You, you see the J-hook pattern right there on market profile? That's a J-hook right there off of HVA. You see that, bud? What Brian's saying is, can I get confluence off market profile? Yep, that's your J-hook right there. That's profile. It can exceed it, just can't close below it. And that brought us to high value on the opposite side. You see the J-hook pattern down here off the swing lows? That's a 1, 2, 3 pattern long. Caught the exact low. That is a long inside of LVA. Retest LVA. That is a J-hook pattern right there too. See it? See it coming from the lows? What a J-hook is basically is a higher low or lower high. That's a higher low. That's a higher low. And then an inverted J-hook or an inverted, I mean, a one, two, three would be a lower high. So that pattern would look like this. Okay? 